So again, I introduce uh, myself, uh, Tat Charia, but just call my first name Charia. So I start work for OAT in uh, 2010. So at the beginning, we worked like LVC inside Kingdom, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, and uh, we start to do the long trip after that. So this is my third year. I was born 1976 in Mekong Delta, southern part of Vietnam, and I grew up with seven brother and sister. Oh. And I started to do work in tourism in 1998, and including uh, three years work for OAT. So my 15 years. So I'm going to celebrate this month is my 15 years in doing this job. <laughs> Inside Vietnam and traveling abroad, some country in Southeast Asia. Uh, I have been traveled about 22, 23 countries. Uh, different country in Asia, Europe, and America, and also inside Vietnam since the 1990 up to now. If you have a look over here, if you see all the colorful here, you can see the red here, it means the mountain people living. To be honest, the Hmong, the Yao, and the other one, Red Yao, the Tay, the Nung, the Mung, they mainly they come from the northern part of Vietnam over here, from China. Because when China, they grow bigger, not much, and so then they spend it, and they cross the uh, Yangtze River and the other one, and they push ancient the Vietnamese down to this area. And later on, we start to build our, our small uh, dynasties and kingdom is over here. And the Li dynasty, they will move from uh, the southern part of Hanoi to Hanoi, Thang Long Hanoi, Hoa Lu Ninh Binh to over here. And uh, this central part of Vietnam over here is like we got from Champa Kingdom. But from here, to the rest of the southern part is been from the water Changla from the Khmer. Today you see the Kampuchea is very small. But Kampuchea used to be back to like I Angkor Wat, the very famous one, those we call Khmer Empire. Included Mekong Delta, the southern part of Vietnam, included Laos and included Thailand. Thailand and Laos born after Khmer Empire collapsed. Siem Reap, no more. They just born like 13th, 14th century. But the Khmer Empire, they have a long time ago. The Funans, and then so on. So you can see relationship between us, reason why we much influence from China. Most of our mountain people over here. Right. So we have linked together. And Myanmar, you can see the, this side. So all the Theravada Buddhism from the West is like Thailand, Lao, uh, Myanmar and Cambodia and Mekong Delta Vietnam is influenced from India. We call Theravada or Hinayana Buddhism. So northern part of Vietnam is, is influenced big from China. And together with the Taiwans later on in Japan and South Korea, so the influence from China. Mahayana border with here. So Dien Bien Phu is right here. You see? So Dien Bien Phu here is in the valley, a uh, very huge base built by the French. They expect to stop all the companies they cross from China to here. And from here they can stop. So the companies, Viet Minh and so on, they cannot link to Laos and cannot go to the southern part of Vietnam. So they built here to be the, like a strong one. Of course, in the north over here, they with China, so they cannot do anything like that. So they try to control the border with China and Laos, not let this spread to the south. And you see the delta in Vietnam, mainly we have only around here, you can see. So in Vietnam, if you look at our total area, only one four of that is delta. So mean 76% our Vietnam total area is mountain. So we have only like very small, 24% a delta. So the biggest delta here we call Mekong Delta. You can see, 76% mountain, seas, and river. But we only have like, this is the biggest delta. Yeah. So the biggest delta here, Mekong Delta, about 41,000 square kilometers. The red delta here is only 15,015 square kilometer. If you look at the long range mountain along the Ho Chi Minh Trail here, border with Laos, or mountain. This one we call Central Highland. So you see, our total area is hilly. But most of the prosperous area in the north is Hanoi, this area, the Red Delta, civilization. And uh, this area, 
Tanhua is today is considered the third biggest population in the north. So if per kilometers in the delta here, oh, very huge. The reason why the Vietnamese people they need more land go to the south. Reason why because Vietnamese widen area to the south. My principal said, don't use occupy the neighbor. You should say widen area to the south, <laughs> opening area to the south. <laughs>Is this how they're drying it? Yeah, how do you dry? You see? Oh, they did dry this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like here, you so see? We're gonna, you here, very thin. Wrap, wrap spring rolls, that's thin, thin. Thin like, like paper. So reason why they call the rice cooker. To make spring roll. Spring roll. Uh -huh. You will cut it like this. One row, two row. That depends on big or small. They can make by hand or they can make by machine today. Rice paper that they're making. You can see it down here.
They're making charcoal. This is the finished product. So, you see? See, make a ball like that, like for drying temporary, and then they put it in the fridge and they put it in. So, where, where did the water closet? No, just when you are, are they making rice? Yeah, that's what she's doing. Round one. Round one. She's making round. Maybe that's how you make it. Oh, yeah, for spring roll. Oh, yeah. See that little boy? He had to come out. Oh, is there one of those roots? Oh, well. I'm not Did little boy? Did you go out? Talking about, uh, you can see 
Vietnam Lumstone Mountain, they have the Lumstone Mountain underground river. So Vietnam, we not only have Ha Mong Bay in this place, but we have the underground river. Have you heard about the underground river in Malaysia, Deer Cave? Very no. huge. No. Mm -hmm. The biggest cave in the world, today they declare on a newspaper, they say, not Malaysia anymore. The biggest cave. The biggest cave now is Sơn Dong Cave, central part of Vietnam border with Laos. It's oh, called Sơn Dong. Sơn Dong is S-O-N-D-O-O-N-G. You can see that? This looks like a bear, right? A little bear. Here. The okay. head and the climber. This one looks like a frog or toad. Oh, yeah. yeah. A toad, a bear. And this one looks like the, the head of the camel. You see that? The back of the camel. Yes. Uh -huh. This one like a camel. Right. And this one, everybody laughs here. Mm, yeah. Oh, what? The angel. <laughs> People just laugh. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> and too many people write on uh, this area. Yeah, and the other side, you can see over here, it, in the rainy day, it's like a waterfall. Yeah, really? yeah because yeah. the water is still create uh, the uh, stalactite and stalagmite together, but like a white sand together. Mm -hmm. And the water is over here. Rainy day is full of water. It's only the pet when we want I was very afraid to be pretending to be a brother again oh, because of what happened on the top of that bush. Mm -hmm. You can't play, but you knew. Yeah. It's like a Halloween. Those two's crying.
bridge was built back to 16th century. But after that, the Japanese emperor called all the Japanese investors to come home to help the, their own country problem. And then the Chinese, they start to cross the other side of the canal and cross over to this side. And then the Chinese build the temple above the Germany bridge. So they call it the Germany bridge, but in fact, the Germany only built the foundation. You see the pillar? Because they make many pillars very stable one, because they get used to with the earthquake in their own country. Yes, UNESCO heritage. And clothing the tailorings. And they, the purify system underground is very old, some hundred years ago. And they didn't purify before they release all of those water go to the canal. So the Japanese area early time just from the bridge here to the back this direction. So they build the bridge in order to do business with local connect. But uh, this one is one of the older house back to early time. Here we go in. You can see very big difference. You can see all the older wood here. They still maintenance like original architecture. You can see. And also the flooding sometimes is getting like this level. It means we are flooded uh, about uh, five, six feet. Some years, you know, flood is about two meters, two meters and a half. Some years like one meter, 1.2, 1.5. So at least like three, four feet flooded, especially back to 2008 and 1990s, early 1990s. And the reason why back to in early time, they always have the upper floor in order to put an order storage. You know, like a storage, they move all the things to the upper floor, right? Like this, come in. <laughs> so the French, they build up Da Nang, occupy Vietnam, and then they start to build their own new port in the North Haiphong, Central Da Nang, Saigon in the South. Hoi An become unknown place. But later on, thanks to the tourism industry, start early 1990. So he is the main, the policeman here, got the idea to console our local government of Hoi An and our national government to preserve and keep what you have. Don't forget it. Don't knock down. Preserve whatever you can. So our job today, we don't demolish any part of that. We would like to rebuild. We have to rebuild like original style. Cannot build with a new style. Cannot. Have to stick to old one. So UNESCO, they fund the renovation, preservation, and local authority. The reason why you see Hoi An now like a living museum. So going on. And early time, you see that? This is when the Chinese was here, early morning. In the yellow one, you see the right, uh, the whole family, the wishes, you can see? Yeah, you get the right in that one. And they hang the incense up. Can be one, two weeks, three weeks, or a month. It depends on the length, the size of the incense. Some people, they write, uh, they hang up in the yellow, sometimes they do in the red color. You can see over here. You pray whatever you wish to. So that is, you pray to the spirit, to the ancestor, or to alive people, possible. It's Chinese root, the ancestor. What is he doing? Write down all the praying and the list. How That's many people thought. sailing boat? Uh -huh. like the yacht, like in Halong yeah, Bay, yeah, yeah. the junk. Mm -hmm. You can see, they order this incense, they pray. So can be local people, can be the traveler, the Chinese. They come to pray this temple. They hang on the ball over here, you can see. They write about the name and the wishes the praying for the family member. And it lasted three weeks, lasted. It cost $20, $20 three weeks for all of this. Incense burn, you can see, it's keep burning. Three weeks later, no more burning. Nothing to be burned after three weeks. This is the whole uh, plants of the Misung relics, you can see. Many stream between the tower they have been built. This area is like an, a valley, a valley. It's covering around beautiful mountains. So reason why they call Mi Sung. Mi is beautiful. Sung is a mountain, the holy beautiful mountain area. So all the complex is built between the valleys. Normally around here, sometimes it's not always. Sometimes you see the musical performance of the Cham people. Very beautiful. So the B complex, the most beautiful one today, is the group A, and A comma, and C and B. This is the center of 
all the activities of Cham people back to uh, the 8th to 12th centuries. Early times, like 7th century, they already built but the wooden one. But later on, from 8th to 12th, 13th century, they built all the those area. But because of the Champan, they lost their own country in end of 16th and early 17th century. They joined to Vietnam. After that, nobody cared about this area. Champa was lost and joined to central part of Vietnam. And who discovered this after that? The French. So the French in the uh, 19th century, they start to discover the find down very huge over there. And especially during the war time, because of the, we, we hide in this inside. According to the local information, we don't say about whatever in our side, information. But back to the war time, this area become the targeted of the pilots from US forces. Drop and destroy all the, especially the big center here. Because US forces think the Viet Cong, they use the temple as a base. So whatever happened, they destroy all of this area. Today, we try to renovate it. So you're going to see a lot of bomb crater between here. You can see this is the bomb crater. Bomb crater. Uh, between. And the other one too. Here, the bomb crater. So there are a lot of bomb crater, original one. We don't clear like the rice field on the way from Hoi An to here. Most of the bomb crater we clear already because we give the license of using land to local people. And local people, they want to have their own ferry field. They flatten all the bomb crater. But not here. Here we try to preserve historical site, but the original bomb crater, we don't clear. But if we, we clear the bomb crater, it means we clear all the our ruins too. It means we clear the broken temple all. So we try to run away some we can do, and some we cannot. We wait for the next planning. That area that my brother wrote to you. So, Lady and Gentlemen, over here, you can see the Group C. Uh, group C here, we got it from 8th to 12th century. So, the Cham people used to be in Vietnam from 2nd to 16th century. Original, they're not from here. Original, they're from Malaysia and Indo Indonesia. And then they set up, they stay in the central Vietnam. But because of the Vietnamese, they get stronger, and then they widen the area, they lose the country. End of 16th century, early 17th, no more. But what you can see today is all the complex here. This is the center, all the rituals, ceremony every year. In uh, October, normally they have very big festival. In uh, Phang Rang, Tap Cham, northern part uh, of uh, Binh Thuong province, or eastern part of the Lac, southern part of Nha Trang. That's another center. But over here, like become a historical site, you can see. So uh, this is one of the original one, not destroyed by the war. But if you see here, we're second by the bomb. And the bomb crater is a between over there, you see. You will see. So you step over here, you can see the bomb crater. Follow me this way. But why they don't have the fix anymore? Because of in the war, they took them all. Some people, they took it for the collections. Oh, to sell as entities. Yes, that's right. Oh. And it's sometimes the linga. On the top of that, they have the gold. Oh. Uh, because the linga, the symbol of the siva. Yeah. So they gilded it with layer of gold, 18K or the other, but all of those were stolen. Because the war, you see that the first, the damage, because of the bomb. The second, because of the weather, after centuries, you see, some hundred years is gone. You would like to know original one or not? Yes. Follow me, I will show you how to see the difference between original and... Uh, so far, we don't know how the Cham people do it well. We don't know. They have three explanations. The first, they say, they build the tower by clay when it's wet and they burn inside and outside and then become long like this. But they say, how can? If you burn well born inside or outside, the other side will be not stable and straight looking like this. Impossible. The second one, they say, first they make the brick well done first and then they grind to make it smooth and flat together and then they stick together and they peel on the other one. Second explanation tend to be not really good. And they find out another way. They have to make the, another way, the third way is make the brick well done first. And then they use the glue, we call yo rai, it's from the trees. And they mix with another material to stick the well done brick together. So the air cannot come in between the brick. 
So even it's about a century up to now, you see the tower still be very stable, except when the bomb would drop there early, 1968, 79, and so on. Sorry, uh, 60, 68, 69, and 72. So all the bomb there was dropped. So it become destroyed like that. So today we would like to preserve. We try to put all of this back to this area. You see some we use cement. But those who use cement become a big problem today because a lot of cultural specialists say should not do this because the Cham people never use cement. Back to early century, 8th, 12th century, they didn't use cement at all. Try to fix everything, look like original, like this. Not like the other one. The original one is beautiful. Many of them lost their head, you see. That's from the bombing. The whole area here, 9th century. So the French man, uh, Henry Parmentier here, the first person to discover and conduct study of Mason in early 20th century. His major study in Cham Ars was public during periods 1909-1918. So the French, they do that. And they find out a lot of historical relics uh, very similar to the relics in the middle of the Zaba, Indonesia. Similar. Because the Cham people, they came from those islands and islands, and they moved to this area, Misa. This area, if you see uh, the green color here, is mean used to be the Champa area. You see that? So uh, if you come to uh, Vietnam, you see the Champa here. But if you go to like Thailand, you see like over here, you can see Cambodia also related to even Myanmar, number seven here, you see. Myanmar, Cambodia, uh, Mekong Delta, Vietnam, and the other, they have similar like this. But especially the central here, you can see it's a lot. So all the Champa relics today, mainly they have central part of Vietnam. So Champa, they said, wherever you see Hindu tower is our land. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, you can see they connect with the uh, Zava Sea. You can see over here, Jakarta and so on. They relate this to region Y. you see, uh, like you did mention with me, they say some you have seen in Indonesia or in Thailand or Myanmar. Because they relate to together, this group of the Cham people, Champa, they came from this area. And uh, related some to Malaysia later on <coughs> when they do the Muslim. So strongly from Zaba. So they do over here, you look at this one. This one, you can see that? Marine trading between Champa and ancient state in Asia. You can see, Champa means they used to be a strong kingdom. They had this trading with many. So they had influence, this religion is from India, and India is goes to the, uh, another country, South Asia, and influence, you can see. Yeah, you can see all the trading here. Vijaya, you can see here. Vijaya uh, here is mean in Quinian, like you asked me. Mm -hmm. uh, said this one. Uh, mean a southern part of this one. But if you talk about the uh, Mi Lai, Mi Lai is between this one. Mi Lai is about this, this area. Mi Lai is about 100 miles away from here, southern part of Hoi An. According to the Cham Museum, they state today, they say still 44 places. But some you can see original, the biggest festival organized today is belong to Po Klong Zarai Temple in Phang Rang. Phang Rang is southern part of Nha Trang. Consider the best temple today, this one. So every year, Kate, the traditional festival happen, they celebrate in this area, Bo Kolong Zarai, being renovated, and uh, Aloma. Misen, this one, you see? Misen. So you can see Vizaya. Vizaya is here, you can see. Vizaya, this area. The reason why you can see this province, they have many. Today we call Binden province, Vizaya. Because when stay in back to French, the Champa time, they call Visaya. But today, when belong to Vietnam, we change to the province Binden. You can see over here. Like this area, they call 
Amaravati, this area. So the temple complex today you have seen is only a place to worship the gods, dedicated to the god. Not a cemetery, not a real palace. It's a place to worship the god, Hinduism god, Brahma, Vishnu, Siva. But Trakil, Trakil, in fact, uh, you can see uh, Trakil, we have one more over here too, Bang An, Chiang Dang, Khung Mi. And Trakil is another, the capital of the, this area. They have another one too. And especially one other thing I would like to share to you. You look at here. Look at this one. The bullets hole because of the war in 1960 and 70. So our forces, we use them, Champ Tower as the hiding place. So become the target during the war time. And this is the language. If you see this one, Latin or Sanskrit? Sanskrit. This one we call Sanskrit. So the Cham, they didn't use our language. They have their own script and language. Cham, language, Sanskrit. This one in India, we have to invite India specialists to translate all of this one, interpret everything. So French, they work it out, thanks to the Indian specialists too, in order to help us to, in, in language, mm -hmm. in Sanskrit area. Today we have 54 ethnic group minority. The government said you want to keep your own mother tongue, it's your job. Even you know, in France, we try to claim the French return to us some sculpture. But you know the French never display, they display in the Louvre Museum already, they never return to us. <laughs> Worldwide civilization, you can see uh, one of the museum, Louvre in Paris. Yeah. You can see here, you can see that original. The original one, they have the clay only, you can see. But the fix here because of the war. You can see they chop the head. This one, they chop all the dish. Yeah. But Cham is one of matriarchy. Matriarchy means women play an important role in their society. All the children who was born have to name in mother family name. In Vietnam, still have five matriarchy. Cham, the Kho, Manong, Yakrai, Eje. It's five of them. So women marry men. When they're getting old, they have to prepare enough buffalo, horse, or property, gongs or whatever, to be like a family property, rich enough to marry men to be their husband. So husband have no power. Fighting animal. Reason why in India, when they eat uh, cow, eat vegetable, they don't eat. Mm -hmm. Because they respect, especially Hindu. Mm -hmm. In Vietnam too, of this school, they came to have Vietnam in Mi Sơn a lot. In 1900, see? This one. So we also honor some people did a great job to preserve all of these historical relics, French. So reason why some uh, French men, after French left 1954, we don't erase all the rose name, the French one. So we still keep it be honored, like Pasteur, Alexander Road, the one who make our language, Pasteur Institute, built by Alexander Yeksin, the men discovered Dalak and Central Highland. So we honor them, Comet, Santis, because they didn't relate this to politics, but they preserve all the cultural historical relics. But the Cham people, of course, they still have their own clothing. <laughs>
some kite, they have fish. Wow, he wants to sell us. Oh, oh. Some fish. Little fish. <laughs> Guy. Yeah, you have to. You can see. First of all, first of all, you wrap sure. your finger. You can take the picture. First of all, you see, we cut the bamboo like this, like over there. And they have to cut the, this one away. You look at this one. They split. This one is very sharp. It's not good. Sharp. This one is hard. And then they split in two, like this. And then what they do, the next, you see, we use very sharp knife in order to make the chopstick. So it depends on the size. They split this one, two, three. They make a long chopstick. What they do today in Vietnam, like this, you can see uh, this one. Especially when you cook with the big, uh, the big cooking pot rice, you need to stir it up to be sure it's a whole big cooking pot. The chopstick here we use very popular in countryside because it's very cheap. Uh, you just use it and they wash it, clean it, and dry it up and can use again. And uh, also this one, you can use for stir it up also. You can cook for people or whatever and use it. Oh, yeah. Right. So you see, very soft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But be careful. This one can cut. Oh. Because it's thin. Oh, sometimes it happens. This one. Make one uh, basket. How to do? So you see that they have to tight like that, but not tight too tight. Tight lightly. Yeah, you can see that. They use the bamboo too too tight. Yeah, you can see that. Where the two bamboos come around. Cước bamboo mainly. And còn cái cuối cùng mình mới dùng cái cước đúng không? Only this one. You can see. After that, they use like what do you call a nylon. Yeah. But here you can see all inside bamboo. Only this one we use like a nylon. Nhưng mà cái này nó cạn hay là nó sâu thì tùy theo khách hàng họ đặt. Và có thể thua, đang thua hoặc là đang dày như thế này. And depends on the customer booking. You can make this one a little bit deeper or shallower. Depends on you. You would like to make a thin hole or thick hole, big or small hole, because for the water to drip down when you catch the fish. Depends on if you are V for the angel V, you have to very little hole. But for the big fish, you can have bigger hole. Together is getting faster. Like he's strong at curving, but they are fast in weaving. So lady do weaving, the men do curving. And another one, what you call slide. Okay. Uh, slicings and deep pan and, and then they will take them and sell them. Oh, this one? They will sell them themselves in town or they have somebody? They have uh, the market, the middlemen in the market. Okay. They, they make reservation booking. Okay. And then they will bring to the market, the agent. Okay. And the agent there, they start to sell to the public. Only one dollar. <laughs> but what, that is retail price. Uh, but you wholesale is less than a dollar. This area, it's easy. And then you can rinse it out. That's right, it's easy. Because you need to keep it dry mm -hmm. and you just hang it up, you put it around your oven and kitchen and you just put this here. Like garlic, uh, onions and the other thing you can put it here. Ginger, whatever. Tell me about those. 83 years old American women jump, but someone has got her. But one, one man is ex got. Yeah, right. 83 years old women. Right. Cái chắc cái kiểu này có một người đi theo. Không có một người ôm bà lại, ôm anh nhỉ. Oh, holding her. I've been retired from jumping for years. Ah, very good. Nhưng mà cũng có bà con họ với nhau. Right. So on this one, will they have the? Are they just dipping? Or they get a net and then dipping inside the net for the fish that? No, this one only like containing the fish after it's been caught. 
Ah, carrying the, it. Yeah. Carrying the yeah. dead fish yeah. from the sea, yeah. like containing. Yeah. Sign on the head. <laughs> but you have to put like a tower on, <laughs> and you put plastic. <laughs> Don't let the fish come to your head. <laughs> when you're going down, you see like the land is floating up. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You feel, he said. You look straight out. Yeah. Right out like this. Yeah. Right. 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 To stick with the glue. Mm -hmm. It's from Kaiser Plan in tree have the fiber. Or if we don't have those things, we have the glue from the tree, mix the cow dung ah. and the buffalo shit. <laughs> buffalo shit or cow shit. <laughs> you mix with the glue because when you eat the grass, the grass itself has a certain strings like a fiber. And then when you mix the glue from the tree and stick together, And they don't want to change the concept of living for centuries. But government said if you burn like this and burn and burn and burn and then one day you don't have anything left. You burn your nature, you destroy your environment of living. We have to keep a certain jungle and national park. You must be out of national park, back to the residential area where we have school, electricity, water, healthcare, everything for your children. Think of your children more than yourself. Feed in the great way, become the number 90 million Vietnamese population, the 1st November 2013. And we say we are in the golden labor country, but the job creation, big issue for our government. Because the small country like the New Mexico State USA, but we have too many kids, young people more than 60% born after the war, 1975. Pagoda, 24 acre. They have three area. The first area is like the outdoor museum. But if you go to the other side, they call the uh, for the monk area. Another post for the nun area. So where are we going to see? We are now right here. You see the bell over here on the left. The drum straight there. And if you would like to see the flower, just this side, gate one. The flowers over here, 
But you want to step down here, go through the gate two, gate three, and this is a lake. Hmm. So it's hard to walk it down, easy to walk down here, but you walk up, it's quite hard. sao là có tượng Phật Ngọc Bích đó, qua những cái đặc biệt phía sau cái trống này nè có chữ chỗ Getting the steps. I had it like this. Full enough to be. With no glasses on. And that was an interesting one, too. The red one. Our granges are a bit leggy.
What is that? type of the flower yeah in the wall and the special thing from the garden here all year round when you come here you can see flower blooming like this you can look at the big flower it's ready to be picked today and next week you see the younger and the younger younger one so in the garden here every two day in the morning farmer will come and pick them to sell to the market that means every two day they can have some income from the garden here and look at the greenhouse like this we cover on the top with the nylon to keep the water outside and surround it by a net so the air can come through but we stop on insect outside that's why farmers spray less insecticide inside this garden and anyway this on the flower here we don't need any insect or the bee to pollinate to the flower because on this plant they are hybrid you know they are not natural so long time ago we have this flower as a natural flower in this city but at first they are very short and only the red color but when the Dutch people come with they apply the Dutch technology to the flower in the lab yeah that's why the flower get bigger more color but this one you can wait the flower until they die they don't produce any seed at all yeah they are the hybrid so they are hybrid so the plant will live longer at least for four years yeah for one plant and after four years farmer have to regrow on the garden and when they want to regrow this garden they don't regrow on at the same time you see over there they're gonna start a new one again when they start blossom they will regrow in another place yeah and how they sell the flower to the market they never dig on the plant to sell to the market they just pick the flower and sell flower to the market only and the plant keep producing more and more flower so how to pick the flower here I will show you the right way how farmer pick the flower okay everybody look at this flower when they are big we have to come to pick them yeah we, and when we pick them we never cut them halfway because if we cut them here the stem stay right there and no space for the young younger one coming up right in that place that's why when we want to pick we keep this flower we bend one side first and then we pull straight out you see so when we bend down it nearly broken at the end and then we pull straight up because if you don't bend it you pull straight up sometime on the plant coming up you know that's why we just bend one side and pull straight out 
here. Okay, we got it. Wait a minute, we can't do this. We're blocking people. We're blocking people. Yeah. You can have it. Yeah. If I can put it through the kickoff. Yeah, you can't take any pictures of here. Yeah, yeah, they come. We climb up. They go on now. Lấy lên lấy cao, ngồi đây, ngồi đây, ngồi đây, lên ngồi đây, xe chạy đây, ngồi 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 All right, we keep walking along this way. We're gonna see more and more children. Oh, that's great fun. Yeah. People here, government should build recently because once a month, government send a group of doctors come to check their health and give them medicine for free. Yeah, right in here. And on on the left, this is the primary school for them. Five grade, one to fifth. This is a primary school, elementary school. Look on the sign here. Phân trường means school and buôn chuối that means banana village the name of the village here in Vietnamese buôn chuối because these hill tribe people they used to grow banana in jungle before so the simple house and the wooden house behind there it is their own Catholic church very small yeah but you cannot recognize it here church because they have no cross outside because before the time when we build classroom for them people here use that one as a classroom weekday classroom and sunday a church yeah but uh, every uh, uh, every two you know every two sunday they're gonna come here and then they have a a priest come here visiting priest once every two weeks by ten But before I show you the lady that carry the baby, right? So the main purpose of the thing she's making now to a scarf to carry the baby when they go to the work on the field. But she, before she told me that, so sad that in this community, the young generation don't want to learn how to make this one. They don't want to. Because for her, five days working just to make one piece like this. And when they sell to the market, only $15. For five day working, oh. but they don't get them all because first they have to buy the wool. You can look at the wool like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they buy this one in the market and two days to set the loom. You can see this is few container thread just like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one round. Yeah, and three more days sit down and do weaving like this. Yeah, because this village, you know, they live separately from Vietnamese people and they are not educated at all. Yeah, so right after the war. Their life still very poor and a lot of people, they don't like, you know, socialism in Vietnam. So they come to very rural area where people are not educated, very poor, and help them a lot. Then they encourage them to do very big strike against our government. Yeah, you know, because they are not educated and so poor, so they just follow the people who help them to give them things. That's why here, education for free for the people in the future soon, they are all educated. So this is one of the poorest village in all this region. So besides this village, we still have another village, but some of the other, everybody already mixed with Vietnamese people. You know, they know what is right, what is wrong, and free for everybody come in easily. Yeah, just that a few villages we need to be sent. Ah, so her uncle also become like a, um, a general yeah, for the U.S. Army Fox at the time. Yeah. So her uncle after the war, uh, he had to be uh, re-educated. Yeah, right after the war, and he died five years ago. Yeah, because only during the war, only the people have a high position in the army. They have to be re-educated. As a normal soldier, they don't have to be. So they don't have to work very hard when they yeah, re-educate. Yeah. So at the time, they have 
to stay, you know, uh, separately with the people outside, and then they have to learn a lot about the Communist Party, about the socialism in Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam includes 54 ethnic groups, so, so we are the same country. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there are two centers around here, yeah, nearby in this uh, district. Two centers. <laughs>
this is the post office and there's a picture of Ho Chi Minh in the post office over there. There it is. So you see this is the old uh, map of Saigon would be signed by the French. You want to see the year they make this map, master plan, look at the wording at the bottom. Saigon and Verons, 1892. So if you look at back to the French tie, 1892, Saigon was many canals and rivers linked together. But when the French came, they only decided this downtown of Saigon is only by the big river there and cover many canals. So you see many streets over there, they're very in order, that is the downtown today, Saigon. And you see another canal from Saigon, they have a very long canal down to the bottom of the map over there. You see C-H-O-L-O-N, Cholong, it means Chinatown. So French, they connect to build the Chol Saigon and Chinatown together. So today become very big. So the master plan of the French only enough for 2 million inhabitants. But today our city is grow up like 8 million plus. 8 million people. So this one, the older map, reflects back to Saigon, French time, 1892. So this one, another map, you can see this is a part of Mekong Delta. Uh, Vietnam, a part of Cambodia. If you look at the two upper stream there, one is from the west, is from Tinh Le Sap, the Great Lake of Cambodia. And another one from Lao direction goes through Cambodia. And right in Phnom Penh, they split to upper Mekong and the lower Mekong. Upper Mekong go to the South China Sea, Vietnam, the last country. So six miles to the sea. In the lower one, three miles. So altogether nine miles to the sea. So we call Night Dragon. So Mekong Delta, the right export of Vietnam, Every year we export about more or less 7 million tons and 90% of 7 million tons come from South Vietnam, Mekong Delta. So this is one of the most important river that go through six countries start from China down to Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam. So French, they're interested in the southern part of Vietnam because of natural resources and also because of the rice trains and everything they have in majority here. And Mekong Delta is also the biggest delta of Vietnam. Cover about 40,000 square kilometers. Today, the population grow about 17 million inhabitants. Like the Netherlands, Poland, in Europe. So very important. Some part is below sea level, so now we have to protect all of this part. To be sure, we still have about 4 million hectares of the rice field in Vietnam. So Mekong Delta is the biggest delta so far we have. He correct. He did correct it of the magazine to say that no, he didn't took on the rooftop of the US Embassy. He took on the rooftop of the old apartment built for CAA officer. Where they are? Look to this direction, straight 12 o'clock. You see the old apartment there? Yeah. yeah. Not the blue twin yeah. blue building. The older one, you see the middle part? Yeah. They have very square part on the top. Yeah. That is the helicopter part on the top. Many Vietnamese people try to get in helicopter and flew away. Many vehicles, helicopters, they try to help the local people to be away from Saigon when Northern Vietnam Liberation Group of South Vietnam belongs to the Communist Party Liberate Saigon. A lot of people left. This is where the people were trying to board the water and get out the end of the end. Right at the top of the world. And they sent help. They help the front here and the other side is here also. Because people deliver the letters. Nothing related to French. Well, most of the material, especially you see the bronze uh, stuff and the cross at the top, material to build this church is brought from France. Marseille, seaport city, France. Okay, started in 1863. Yes, complete 1880. Okay. Again, this is the apartment building because at the end of the war. Early time, People were trying to escape, get onto the helicopter. 
is not the U.S. Embassy. It's on top of this part of the building, right on top of this. They built only 19 men, this one. Six basement and ninth floor. But they built only 19 months. And they just sold it to another company, 470 million US dollars. So, the whole block. Five star hotel, shopping mall, six basement, and ninth floor. The Hotel Continental, Saigon. This is the uh, more exclusive area of Saigon. It has a fancy shops and stores and stuff. The building that moved people out and built it. Few months. Biggest one, most beautiful one, oldest one, stylish one, Hanoi Opera. And this one, built by French, the second one, inside that. So, this area we call the heart of the city. When we say Saigon, mean cannot be away from here 10 miles, 10, 15, 12 miles, it means Saigon. But if more than that, we call New district coaching in city. Saigon is the old area before I The old name. So now we walk a little bit, go to Great Hotel. This is Hotel De Ville, which is City Hall. This one, our city government. The Mekong uh, River is go through six countries. China, Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam. But we are the lowest one because by South China Sea. They are nine months to the sea. So uh, another name in Mekong Delta we're going to visit today, they call Gulong Nine Dragons. Mean nine mouth of the Mekong. They go from the upper Mekong and lower Mekong all together, nine mouth to the sea. Some of them we close now because of we don't want the sea water come up in the dry season. Because if they come up a few weeks, all the, our crops, rice crops, fruit plantation will be dead because they cannot survive in the fresh water. Uh, along the coast, we have the salt water. The, like, uh, let's say 35, 40 uh, miles, is brackish water. Yes. And about more than 45 miles up, only fresh water. So we have also different water products, like salt water, brackish water, fresh water product. So fish farming, have you heard about tilapia? Yeah. From Vietnam, Baisa, the catfish, also a lot. They farm in Mekong Delta. And you see a lot of boats. You're going to see many. Like Ho Chi Minh City, you see millions of motorbikes. But when you go to Mekong Delta, you see millions of small boats, champagne. Because they need the boat to cross the canal from this side to another side. Because divided normally by canals. If you go to google.com, Google Earth and Google Map, you see all the villages in Mekong Delta. They just located on the high ground along the canals and rivers. Why young people like to Ho Chi Minh City? If you ask the Northern people, the young generation like my age, do you like Saigon? They say yes, yes, yes. They dream to come to Saigon. Because they work hard, they change their life. But if they stay in the north, you see the on the way to Halong Bay, you see a few thousand square feet right here. Even they work hard, they don't change their life. Yeah, so relax, huh? This is Jean today on the way to Mekong Delta. So relax. Yeah. Uh, So uh, now you can see this one, Mekong River. So now we go a little bit uh, downstream to the corners over there. That is the floating village spot. And now you can see uh, the low tide. And the water in Mekong Delta River like this in this season. Brown color. Because the silt, the muddy. Every year, thanks to the flooding, we have very thick layer of muddy like this. And you see most of the local people, they like to build the house along the riverbank. Do you know why? Because of boats, because of tra transportation, and the windy. At night, you open your window, the natural wind from the river comes to your house. 
So, convenience of transportation. Second, it's very cool. And very convenient. Everything you want to wash, you want to take a shower, there's a river next to your house. Jump down. And uh, especially when you look at the boat, you see that? Most of the boat, they have the long propeller. You see them? You see that? Long one. Why do you use long, not short? Shallow. Shallow. To shallow canal. Because when the low tide, you need to move different direction. If you stick like regular boat, it's hard to move. But when you have the long propeller, you can move any direction. Here you can see a lot of uh, small boats. You can see this one. Small boat today, the champagne boat, they connect with the engine Honda. You see that? A very small Honda. The reason why you see Honda very popular in Vietnam. Honda motorbike, Honda motorboat, and several other Honda. Japanese engine very popular. We love Japanese. These calculations were built early uh, 20th century, last century. Consider the biggest and the center calculators in Kaibe area. Kaibe is over here is only like uh, less than 25,000 people live in the outer. If your house takes you to the harbor, for the money, you don't need to make a bus. Most of the river is Kaibe. All of this uh, local ferry we subsidize for local people. Students go to school. We need to heat them up and we have to choose the good seat of rice. You stir it up, heat it, and then the, the rice husk, you see, after pop, the husk we use for burning. So the rice one, after pop, we use to mix with the, uh, to make sweet, like this, you see, like puppy. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, prepare. Just 10 seconds. It's pop. Turn, turn your camera on. Turn your camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn, turn it on. You see that? Oh. Very quick. So, what they do? They have to sack to draw the black sand back to the pot for the cycle. Yes. Sand for the small hole to sack to drop the sand back. The second part. Then to remove the right part with the bigger net. This is pretty good in there. What is this here? Oh, that feeds the fire. That feeds the fire. It's the right. And that's the light. Getting the fire. One to try, come here and pick up the truck. Also, using the house. But be careful. Sometimes they're not going to die. So the husk is going back in to keep the fire going. And that sand, that black is sand. Yeah. Then I guess he uses the husk. Anyway, I mean, So, you want, this one they, they do the pop, the pop tapioca. Pop tapioca also very good. Look, look at that. Yeah, you see? Can you tell me again what this is? This one they cook uh, caramel. To mix with the rice, we call the uh, pop rice. But if they mix with the tapioca, they call tapioca sweet. Yeah, you, over there you can see it. So what is in here now? We cook caramel. Okay. 
they cook caramel to mix with tapioca or they cook caramel to mix with the rice. Okay. Like you make a popcorn, you need to mix with the sugar. This one, the composed system, including sugar, malt, onions, and the coconut milk. They cook together and then they mix later. Okay. You take a photo of how people are processing and then you come to see a second job. Mm -hmm. They don't throw it away. After removing all the uh, the Bob's eating more too. Mm -hmm. The Bob's eating more. Oh, Bob, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You use gas, we use oil. Oh, this one we call a family. Uh, like this young girl, they are not from family members. Right here. Oh, I How do you make a paper to make spring roll? The way they make the rice paper and the rice paper similar, only different in three years. Rice paper, just rice and water. But rice paper is not a wash tub to do the green one. I used to do this. So, I would have that so watered up and nasty. <laughs> Yeah, that'll make it. Yeah. 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 PVC, oh, sorry. It's okay, Gene. It's okay. Very cool. They're all constrictors, so oh, it's yeah. academic. Right. We export python skin, like the crocodile. It was 
Yeah, I think going slowly through here is it shallow or shallow not enough water you see now it's low tide too low about one hour later almost our boat cannot hit because of about three feet three four feet below this one so now we try to deepen the canal here you see that they build the road both side for the vehicle local traffic motorbikes and bicycle for school children to go in front of us, they have the cross bridge, this area. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have lunch with the local family over here and visit the ancient house, the old house. They built 1838. After lunch, so we back to the boat. And some would like to try the champagne. We will serve you champagne. The water is so shallow, as you can see right here, that they're moving very slowly. And also, and this is our boat right down here. And this is where we're going for lunch. The house was built in the 1800s. So Japan is considered one of the country have Vietnam a lot to preserve UNESCO old house historical cultural relics. So this family, back to the French time, they were landlords. Yeah. This is our boat, yeah, and we're sitting on the floor. It's here. very uncomfortable. <laughs> here we go down the Mekong Delta. Do 
give me your. On the on the on the make on the. Make on the. Sin chao. Sin chao. And maybe hand to the word that. I'm trying to. He's he's giving us hats. Oh, oh this ought to be good. Oh, okay. 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 okay there you go. And it goes under your chin. There you go. Okay, let me see your face, hon. Like that? Okay. How are we doing? Did you get, did you get Jean in there, too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we'll give you where's... Huh? Do? Uh-huh. Well, you don't have to, but yeah, you won't lose it. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty. There we go. It hurts the top of my head. <laughs> this is our group. Yeah, we're slowly driving, then his cell phone goes off. Snaps back into reality. The fire gathered the sound. That one blocks it out. It seems to block it out. It makes your own voice louder. Uh huh. This is where we're having lunch today. Ong, and this is Mr. Mi. So Mr. Mi, he's a farmer. Uh, worked back to the French time and Vietnam War time. He did support a lot of rice, mobilized food for the VC, for the Communist Party members. So he is considered great farmer to our side. But uh, he used to be the soldiers and the uh, one who did the tunnel in the Kuchi area. And now they work for veterans of Kuchi District Association. So he also in charge uh, for the uh, association of Kuchi veterans for our side. One question related to Jean about what happened in the world, in the future in general. He said, in general, most of the country in the world, they want to be one world, to be peaceful, no fighting, to be, you know, exchange the country, the technology, to build the country, go to prosperity level, no fighting. But some certain group like NATO and the other rich country, for example, your government, they don't want to be like one world. They still want to control the other. The reason why they still have like the fighting amongst because of you control the other, the other they will react and like, and they want to self-protect. And the reason why the dreaming to be one world, peaceful, prosperity, is not becoming true. All right, here you are. Smile! On our way back to the Saigon. 